Hello everyone, this is Body Club Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Coffee Talk 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. Where we are continuing on and I think we're in day 9? Or about to go into day 9? 9 or 10? Uh, no. No, it's not gonna show. Let's see before we go in here. What's up? Lucas, dinner with my team. Aw, you guys look happy. Riona, normal schedule. Rachel, I'm taking an easy day because self-care is important. Don't forget to take a good rest once in a while too, everyone. Very true. Freya liked it. Lucas, have you ever heard a story that wows you? Wows, so you try to go for your dreams because you're so inspired to do something or anything. Share your story. Okay. Sure, Riona, I'll give you a like just because. Uh, any updates? No. Okay. Let's see. All the ingredients are stocked up. I don't think I have anything right now. Nope. And the weather is keeping quiet. Looks like a good night to listen to some stories. Who is it? Oh, it's Gala! Oh, and hide! They're here together! <laughs> pure, pure happy and excitement and... Yes, yes, my couple. Hello, boys. How's things going? How's your love life? Are you guys official yet? Why aren't you official yet? <laughs> I feel like if I was legit the barista, everybody would be looking at me like I'm crazy all the time because I'm always like outright just like shipping them. Just like, y'all, come on, man. <laughs> come on. Good evening, Mr. Hyde, Mr. Gala. Nice to see you two. Together. <laughs> How did it go at the hospital today? Well, it was fine, except I was a little exhausted. What's going on? You guys are awkward. What do you mean, exhausted? Did you guys have an all-nighter? You know, doing naughty things? They're awkward right now. <laughs> the way he's looking at Hyde and Hyde is looking away. <laughs> Uh-oh. Goodness, are you having issues with the children again? No, that's not it. It's just... Well, for starters, my fury's giving me a hard time. And you're furious? Is it the full moon already? Nope. But I sometimes get pre-fury symptoms, bruh. It's almost like he's he's like a woman. Like he he understands what we go through. <laughs> uh I I know his is very different from ours, but still. I mean you might as well, right? It's like some of us our hormones take over and we become like a raging angry werewolf. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Actually no, I haven't had that kind of mentality in a long time. Which is good. You don't you don't want to become a monster. <laughs> Pre-fury symptoms. Yeah, it's a common thing for werewolves. A few days before the full moon, our bodies start to prepare for fury. And that changes the way we react to pretty much everything. Symptoms vary depending on who you ask. But it can affect our muscles, our appetite, our energy levels. It can give us headaches and a lot of other stuff. Bruh, they are really purposely <laughs> describing PMS. Small, but annoying. That doesn't sound pleasant. No, to be honest, it's not great. For me, I've been feeling pretty sore and more tired than usual. And a bit crankier as well. That's why Hyde is like, I need to be careful. I need to walk on eggshells around this man. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Is there a drink that could help you with that, other than his usual? I never found one, but if anyone can come up with it, it's you, Ben. 
since a Galahad can soothe your fury, maybe it would work pre-fury as well? Maybe, but I think you'd need to be more relaxing. Like a Galahad, but with no caffeine, and maybe blue? Did we create something for you already? Blue, so blue pee. No, so we have to create something new? So the Galahad is tea and ginger and something else, isn't it? Uh, yeah, tea, milk, ginger. So no caffeine, so it's blue pea. Blue pea milk ginger, maybe? Okay, so I'm guessing blue pea doesn't have caffeine then. Well, he is a man with the color blue all over him. Um, milk. Ginger? Or should it be ginger milk? Well, we'll see. Let's, let's see how it... Hey! Okay. I was right. Gala T. Man, he's lucky. We just create stuff for him all the time. Galahad, Gala T. That's cute. Little woo! <laughs> Here you go, a gala tea for you. Do you come up with these names on the spot, then? Uh, no, it takes a bit of soul searching. <laughs> to tailor it to the situation and so on. That almost makes it sound like you know in advance what we're going to order. Like you have a walkthrough, or like you are a time traveler. Hmm. Call it a sixth sense. Right. Let's see how your sixth sense tastes. Wow, this is excellent. Exactly what I needed. Very happy to hear that. Hyde, are you okay now? What's with the long looks, you two? Come on. What's going on? Tell Mama. Let me help you. Did something happen? Actually, Ben. Guess I'll just come out with it. I need your help. My help? Come on, I wasn't that bad. Oh, he did do something bad. Uh-oh. What did you do now? Oh. Kiki. No, I was so tired today I nearly fell asleep on the job. Is that from sex or something else? What happened? Ugh. But most importantly, it's not good for you. Moping around, sulking, refusing to look at solutions. I've never seen you like this, and I'm getting worried. There's nothing to worry about. Did something happen to his car? You say that, but then you spend entire nights looking miserable. No advice I come up with is good enough. And hide. I'm barely keeping it together as it is. You should know by now how I feel when Fury's about to hit. <laughs> Looks away guiltily. <laughs> um, I take it you two ended up chatting yesterday after all? You bet we did. After I walked out of here, I headed home and found this one. Lying on the sofa, staring at the ceiling. Looking so gloomy it sucked the color out of the room. And it's not the first time, either. It's a constant these days. He mentioned the rain. Like, he said, oh, he doesn't like heavy-duty rain. But it rains all the time in Seattle, so it can't be it. Look at those shifty eyes that Hyde has right now. Something's going on, dude. Just come out with it. Please, help me help him, Ben. He's driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm at my wit's end. Yep. Mr. Hyde? Ugh, fine. You know I can't say no to Bin, how dare you. The truth is, I'm bored to death. Or I would be if it wasn't for the whole immortality thing. I'm nearing 40 years old. And I've never been this bored in my entire life. 40? Don't you mean 400? Interesting. You usually make it sound like you're much older. 
40 years old in vampire years. Not saying how old that is in other species years. Oh. Lights on the prize bin. Intervention first, gossip later. <laughs> uh, my apologies. Why are you so bored, Mr. Hyde? My job. What was that? My job! Hey, no need to shout. Well, I'm also irritated about it, okay? Bruh, he sounds like me, hating my job constantly. After a while, it starts to, like, fester in your brain to the point that it, like, literally drives you crazy. That you're bored, you're frustrated, you're unsatisfied, and then especially if you feel stuck and you really don't know where else to go, or you don't have any other options, then it just starts to affect you in other ways like even physically it starts to drain you you know so I totally understand where he's coming from I'm not exactly used to sitting around twiddling my thumbs but modeling stopped being fun ages ago you did mention something like that last time you are trying to leave modeling behind then yeah is there a specific reason for that it's all just so... brief. Back when I started modeling, people thought of fashion in a different way. They wanted to keep their outfits for a while. So they had to be elegant, well-made and versatile. Some campaigns that I featured in stayed on billboards for months. And I knew the clothes would last decades. In a way, it felt like I was building a bond with their wearers. I endorsed something that would feature in their cherished memories. But then social media came and it all became disposable. The clothes themselves, of course, but the models even more. I shoot a campaign, the brand posts it online and it gets attention for, what, 10 minutes? Then another campaign comes in and everything's forgotten. Oof. Yeah, yeah, that can apply to so many things, right? That is social media, that is like, that's why they call it 15 minutes of fame, because nothing lasts longer than that anymore. Blink and it's gone. There's no bond to be built there. Isn't that changing these days though, with slow fashion and the like? Well, it's true, and people are getting into vintage clothes, too. I salute that, but the reality of my job remains the same. What about your fans? You have so many people following you. You mentioned that last night, and my answer hasn't changed. They follow me because they think I'm pretty. Being admired is nice, but it doesn't constitute a bond. So are you saying that you'd like to leave more of a mark maybe so it would be nice if I did something that people remembered that became a part of their lives in a real way you do know you have people in your life in a real way right like me people who always remember you that's interesting because it reminds me of the last episode when Gala and the whole talk about the tree and all of that and, and about remembering and he wondered how much he had forgotten over the years. So I'm like, ooh, so that's the theme, huh? That's not the same thing. Maybe you should study to become a doctor or something. I am still of the mind if he wants to be remembered, wants to make an, uh, an impact and bond with people, I think he could be a really good counselor. Because he's already doing it, you know, and he's really good at it. That would make a real difference. No, thank you. The job still needs to be fun. Studying for 10 years just to exhaust myself in 14 hour shifts. Preach! I always in the back of my mind I was like oh I want to be a doctor but what he just said is true you study for so long you get into debt <laughs> and then you have to exhaust yourself and then there's the fear of being sued for malpractice if you get something wrong and you could 
you could seriously damage someone else's health, you know? It's scary. Being a doctor is scary. I don't know how they do it. And then a lot of them, unfortunately, get this, this stupid god complex. Like, they think they're holier than thou, and they're not. You're a human being! You know? Why, why do you think you're better than everyone? <laughs> Did you mistake me for a hard-working vampire? Do you see what I'm dealing with, Ben? It does seem to be a thorny issue. Perhaps you'd like to mull it over with a drink in hand, Mr. Hyde? Yeah, that sounds good. Just make me something I like. Anything you've seen me enjoy recently or when we first met. I can't remember what you liked when we first met. That I'm sure there's a guide or something that says what he liked, blah blah blah. Uh, let's see what it says for Galatea. A silky but spicy beverage that soothes furious emotions and brings dormant joys back to life. Okay, what he liked recently was this, the Zobo. Hibiscus ginger ginger. Traditional Nigerian drink with an invigorating ginger kick supported by cloves and pineapple. It's cool when it mentions the other ingredients that, you know, we don't actively use, but it's interesting. Gin, hibiscus, ginger, ginger. We know you like it hot. Here you go, Mr. Hyde. You seem to like this well enough. Nice, Ben. And you lost your bet, Hyde. A bet? What, that I wouldn't remember what you like? When, wa when Hyde was wallowing in self-pity yesterday, I told him many people cared about him. And I bet you could remember what he liked, even if he gave you no instructions. So now I get to say that I was right. And Hyde gets to buy me dinner. At a place of my choosing. <laughs> cute. Ugh. You're lucky you're so damn cute. <laughs> you're going to pick that horrible steakhouse again, aren't you? You know it. Have you won other bets in the past, Mr. Gala? Let's see. You say it, Hyde. He's won every single one of the bets we've ever made. <laughs> of course he has. Then why do you keep doing it? <laughs> why? You're a glutton for punishment. For secretly he enjoys he enjoys seeing Gala be happy. <laughs> oh, you guys are so freaking cute. I love you. Ah, I need to read fanfiction after I'm done with this <laughs> this playthrough. I'm sure it exists. I'm surprised I never looked it up before. Huh. Wow. Yeah, I'm this close to being able to buy a new TV with the money I'm saving on food. Just rub it in my face, why won't you? Who's here? Lua? Yeah! Her heels. Something about the heels. I was like, I think it's Lua. That's good. That's the right person who can probably help as well. Oh, hi everyone. Hey, Lua. Hi, Lua. Busy night, I see. Hi, Miss Lua. Busy and lively, just the way we like it. That's good. And I'm really glad you're here, Hyde. I wanted to apologize for the other night. I was so excited to see you, especially since it had been a while. But we ended up fighting with Bailey's instead. You must be getting bored of our arguments. Uh, I think he's just really good at that, so... Yeah. It's all right. They're kind of fun to watch. See? You enjoy it. You like you like the conflict. <laughs> How are things with you two, by the way? Ah, uh, just let me order before I answer. If that's all right, then. Of course. What would you like? I spent the whole day talking in meetings and presentations, so I have a bit of a sore throat. Is there anything you'd recommend for that? Definitely something with lemon and honey, which we have made before, yeah. Sounds great. 
I'd love a lemon and honey drink then, please. Okay, lemon and honey. Is there something we've made I can use or something new I should do? Favorite things. The fact I've been blood sober for 10 years now, what I'm doing with my life, currently a model, past, stock trader, entrepreneur, venture capitalist. Okay. Oh, did I miss the stories? Hey, hey guys, up. Is he drunk? <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Wait, why is it showing? Did somebody else? Oh, Gala. We've got an update. Veteran, now working in a hospital. Okay. <sighs> Lemon and honey. here no is there a specific drink I need to give her Dang it. Um, this is honey lemon no it says this pretty much the same I don't want to use up all my stuff. I'll just give it to her. Oh, I, I don't know. I could keep messing around and, and go back to like what I think I did in the past, which I think was with tea. Or was it green tea? Do we still have green tea? I feel like we don't use it anymore, do we? Here you go. Some honey to soothe, some lemon to boost recovery. Thanks, Dr. Ben. <laughs> ah, this is truly lovely. Just what I needed. I thought she would like it because she liked hibiscus. That's great to hear. My company's trying to get a big contract, so I've been organizing meetings with everyone, making sure it's all going according to plan. That sounds pretty tough. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibilities and decision making. And part of me likes that, but part of me feels the pressure of it. So it's nice to be able to unwind with a warm cup. Anyhow, to answer your earlier question, Gala, you've probably gathered that Bay and I have been fighting. Yeah, and Hai told me a little bit about it, too. Right, well, we haven't discussed the wedding for the past couple of days. And honestly, it's done me a lot of good. The thing is, I know Bay means well. He suggests all these things that he thinks I'd like. And I should like them. He's paying attention, not just sending random ideas. I should be grateful that he's trying to please me. But I get annoyed instead. And then I start feeling guilty that I'm annoyed. Which makes me even more annoyed. Yeah. Vicious cycle. It's not great, I know. Well, it'd be easier if we always acted rationally. If we only got annoyed at the right people for the right reasons. But things aren't that simple, are they? That's true. Although I guess if you figured out what actually annoys you, it would help. That's the problem. I'm not sure. At first, I thought I was tired or worried. The decision-making at my job is taking a toll for sure. It's a bit hard for me to also deal with organizing things in my personal life. Also, the financial side of it is hard to navigate. I don't want Bay to spend too much money, but... He's right that involving my family comes with strings attached. I'm not sure how to avoid that, though. Oh. But I'm realizing that might not even be the main issue. The more he sends me links to venues and caterers, the more it all feels wrong to me. 
Like, you guys really need to elope. <laughs> I don't mean the wedding itself. I want to get married to Bae. But the way we're planning it, I don't know. I've been to my friend's weddings before. I've also been browsing the most popular wedding pictures online. There are always these big parties, very put together, very classy. They have their whole families over, their friends and colleagues. They rent these beautiful barns and they hire live bands. They wear designer dresses and bespoke suits. I used to look at that and think, this is great, this is what I want. But now it all just feels more and more off to me. Why don't you tell your fiancé that? What if he thinks I'm getting cold feet? Or that I'm questioning his ability to help with the budget? That's up to how you communicate it, isn't it? Right, but it's still a difficult topic. We've been through so much, you all know that. This is supposed to be our special day, a way to celebrate our partnership. Bay wants to honor that. He'll feel awful if he thinks I don't. Or if he thinks I don't trust him. I swear, you and your elf are well matched. <laughs> Overthinkers! You always worry so much about what others think, instead of working out your own wants and needs. You do realize that's the important bit, right? I mean, generally, yes, I get that, but how does it apply here? What do you think it means to honor your partnership? To celebrate it properly, for starters? Right. And who are you in that partnership with? I believe you've met him, the blonde guy with the puppy eyes. Is he blonde? He looks brunette to me. Wait, what? I'm really thrown for a loop. Was that a typo? Is he actually kind of blonde? No? I don't know. It looks brown. Maybe it's brownish gold or something. Right, I'm glad you remember that, because you you were making it sound like you were in a relationship with your friends who got married, and the strangers who put wedding pictures online. This is your relationship you're celebrating. Why are you so concerned with other people's weddings? Your special day needs to make sense to the two of you. There he goes again, hard coming in with all the good advice. Have it in trainers at a fast food joint, if that's what you like. That way you can also take the budget out of the equation. A simpler wedding won't feel shabby if you make it feel properly yours. Um, I still want a pretty outfit and decent food. Thank goodness. But point well taken. It's just, my family might have certain expectations. Did they openly say that? No. Then maybe they do, or maybe you just think they do. The only way to find out is to talk to them. Besides, isn't Bailey's also about to become your family? You sure are the only family he's got. Ooh, rub that in. Yeah, that's true. I'm not saying to disinvite everyone or to fight with them or anything, but you shouldn't put their needs above your own. I really shouldn't, should I? You've given me food for thought, as always. Thanks, Hyde. My pleasure. Amazing how you perk up when you give people advice, Hyde. <laughs> you see? I know these characters! I know! I know what needs to happen! Hyde, please! Ugh, this reminds me of how many people keep telling me I should be a teacher. Uh, I feel like they're shoving it in my face. They're like big... If people keep telling you that you're good at something, then you should really just do what they tell you. <laughs> I don't want to go back to school to become a teacher. I tried that already and it frustrated me and stressed me out. I don't know. I don't know. This game always makes me think too much. Maybe you should become a therapist. Hmm. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh -huh. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence. 
You did say I might become a couples counselor. Yes, that's it. But I agree with what you all implied. I don't think I'm quite tactful enough for that. Are you looking to change careers, Hyde? He's bored of modeling. Finds it too impermanent. Wants to leave a mark. Wants to have fun. Just a very quick summary. Oh, I see. Well, is there any way you could make modeling fun again? I don't think so. Last time I had proper fun was maybe 20 years ago. What happened then? Alright, that sounds like a, a story we're going to go into. So let me just uh, leave the episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye!